So at Rosebud, folks, our, st our sustainable practice is embedded in everything we do. And Stella and Ash and Tilly and Leah have started a program on recycling these particular things. And Leah, what is this all about? Well, this is about we've got way too we've got a lot of um, bottle tops and bread tags that have been put up to the office. And Till, and where are those bread tags not ending up now? Just don't put them in the landfill bin anymore. Just don't, yeah. not what we need. So what do we want people to do? We want them to... Bring them along to school? Yeah. Yeah, bring them along to school. And Ash, with all your bottle tops, this is just from today, isn't it? With all your the... bottle tops, this is from today, and we're getting a lot of them. Yeah, and what happens to them? And these bottle tops are going to a charity charity and they're making these into artificial limbs which is amazing isn't which... it so stuff that would have ended up in landfill is now becoming an artificial limb or something like that for yeah it's incredible isn't it and Stel, what's happening to the bread tags um well these bread tags are um like raising money by um getting sold to a man that makes bowls and plates out of them and the money um 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 the man gives the um lady who collects the bread tags um for the like the money that he gives the lady for the bread tags gets to um fundraise um wheelchairs for more kids in africa like that um have disabilities so how good is that artificial limbs and wheelchairs for kids yeah. in africa and where would they normally have ended up? Um, in landfill, destroying the planet. In landfill, planet. just taking up room and probably not taking thousands of years to break down. <laughs> yeah. And now they're getting a terrific use. Now, Stella, I know your mum's helped out lots with this, mm -hmm. which is just fantastic. So thanks, Stella's mum. <laughs> very, very good of you. And thank you, girls, for driving this project in our school. Well done indeed. Thank you. We're here with our winners of our uh, Build Our School competition. It's really exciting. The building of the schools really arc up. Andriana, you did a good job building away. You've come second in second place, so you've got your bunnies sitting there. Pretty happy about that? Yes. Yeah? Very good. Don't look so excited. That's mm. terrific. And Noah, you're the winner. Little grade one Noah, here's the winner of our, uh, our Lego competition. So Noah, did you enjoy building his new school? Yeah. Are you excited about having a new school? Yeah, and it took it took like one morning to make it. Did it? Fantastic, and I was so pleased. He not only edited in the competition, but emailed me as well. So a bit of a technological whiz kid. And are you going to have fun with your new Bunnings buildings? You yeah. are? Get them out tonight and put them all together while you're watching assembly, do you reckon? Yeah. Righto, terrific, Noah. Congratulations, mate. Righto, for those older members of the audience, this is a bit of an advertisement, so it'll become a bit like Franco Cozzo. So Robin Blake's plant stall is going to be happening every morning before school. If you're keen on buying plants, I don't know whether you've seen Robin Blake's plant stall at the market, uh, but that's going to operate every morning around at the back of the uh, BER building, where all our plants and the chooks and everything in our beautiful sustainable garden. So if you're keen on that, um, come around. And a huge thank you to Peter Rowe, Juddy Mills' granddad. Uh, Judd's a great little runner too for uh, supplying the whistles for us. To uh, He's donated the whistles so that we can blow them and keep the kids safe when they're crossing the road. So Peter, thank you very much indeed.